Wait, 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 wait. You guys are still modding Spider-Man on PC? The new Insomniac Spider-Man game is coming soon, so I suppose it does make sense that it would rile up certain fans to start making even more mods for the PC port of the game. I can't imagine the desert this place is gonna be though once that game does come out. Jeez. But I suppose if there's content to be made, I'm gonna be here to make it. So today, I'm gonna be recommending to you some of my favorite Marvel Spider-Man PC mods from, you know, people I know in the community, some mods I've stumbled upon on the Nexus page, generally anything that's caught my eye and anything I typically use in my own time playing the game will be put in this video for you guys to see and hopefully use for yourselves. There's content to be had, baby! Content time! Fuck yes. I hope I'm in an end, dude. I, I want to be able to swear. Oh, shit. Uh... There's a lot of suits here. I don't... I'm not exactly sure where I should start. This video becomes way easier to think about if I think of it as more of a list of recommendations. So I'm gonna do it like that. That being said, I have to recommend, I really hope I'm not butchering his name, Julen... Let me get the script. Julen Urutia. I really hope that's right. This specific Spider-Man design has been quite popular for jumpstarting the idea of a Pixar animated Spider-Man. Julian did not pull any punches on this design. I mean, this is perfect. With the combination of the more rounded features built into the outfit, with the use of real fabrics, which I also noticed are like the same, if not similar colors and fabrics to the Andrew Garfield second suit. These two things make a perfect design for a 3D animated Spidey. Love it. But seeing as God has abandoned us and fun isn't real, uh, such a thing does not exist. But at least Agro Fro swoops in to save the day with his amazing mod of this design. Agro did a spectacular job replicating this, like even nailing the anatomy. But if having too much fun isn't your thing, you can always go for a more realistic version of the mod, which is still really well made and super cool. It was made by Gotharust. Gotharust also does an incredible job replicating this design, instead going for a more realistic body shape, which is still cool. I only kid about the way less fun thing. You can pick whichever one of these two you want. Both of them are valid. But if you don't care about fan animated Spider-Man, the first thing I would say is shut the fuck up, and the second thing I would do is shove this suit file up your ass. This is a movie accurate Spider-Verse Spider-Man classic suit mod. That is a mouthful. There's not really much to say about this one. It's pretty much just your perfect Peter Parker Spider-Verse suit replica. It's just, it looks like it hopped right out of the greatest comic book movie of all time. We'll say back logo is a bit smudged for my taste. I'm pretty sure it's not like that in the film. But despite that one error, this mod literally nails like every other thing. Even the webbing is like slightly bronze, just like it is in the movie. The lenses are perfectly nailed. They even have like the small shading elements on them and the reflections. This mod is perfect and it literally blows blows the pre-existing Peter B. Parker suit mod that came in-game out of the fucking water. Forget that old thing, man. I'd say I'm surprised that Insomniac was outdone by a fan, but at this point I've seen multiple, like, Spider-Man fans outdo Marvel at this point in terms of quality, so I'm not really, like, that surprised anymore. This mod was made by Riza825, who also made a super accurate Into the Spider-Verse, Across the Spider-Verse, Who's It, whatever, 2099 suit mod. This one was so good that I literally dropped the other one I was gonna include in this video for this one. I think it's a little too dark in the mod, but that's okay because I'm pretty sure if anything, it could just be based on the shading from when 2099 entered. <laughs> Miles' universe in Across the Spider-Verse. Spoiler warning. Fuck, I should have put that beforehand. Anyway, let's get back on track with these Spider-Verse suits and talk about this Scarlet Spider skin I found that I really like. Now, I will say, it's just the tiniest bit inaccurate and I think he looks a little too chunky. This is still a really cool mod. 
Like, I love the way this thing looks. Like, its own comic shading, even though it's not really accurate, I still think it does enough of its own thing while still looking good for me to, like, recommend it to you. And it's still a great looking mod. It fits in perfectly with the rest of the Spider-Verse skins. Like, I think the lenses look really sweet. And this mod was made by... Uh... Um... Hold on. Alicio Matt. Well, it's spelled Matt, like Matt Paint, but is it Matt or is it, is it Mate? Is it, is it Matty? I don't know! All right, have you had enough Spider-Verse? Is that really enough for you? Fine! I'll just put myself in the video game! God damn it, I hate throwing the script because I have to fucking put the shit back together. I'm just kidding. This wonderful Spider-Man Edge of Time mod existed way before I made this suit. This mod is actually really close to accurate to the Edge of Time in-game model with its signature messy web pattern, its slightly muddied out colors, and blank expressionless eyes. This mod also takes a step even further to match the fabrics on the original in-game model by adding the shiny hexagonal pattern. If only had one thing to say, about its inaccuracies. I think the shade of blue is a bit too dark. The hexagonal pattern is a bit too small on the mod. And that's literally it. It's still a phenomenal mod and bogus law justum made a way better edge of time replica than I did. But that's only because they got to make it on a fucking computer, okay? Where expensive fabric can be generated out of thin air in zeros and ones. I have to pay for that shit. Also, Bogus is just straight up one of the like greatest modders in the community. Like if you want a really, 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 really good classic Spider-Man mod, go to his mod page. That's where you're gonna be finding the good shit. Like this man, this is not the last time his name will come up in this video. Anyway, now we've just covered a replica of one of the community's most beloved versions of the classic suit. Now let's talk about one of the community's most hated versions. I will forever ride the MCU Stark suit train, even if it crashed into the Mariana Trench, just like with the hopes that Spider-Man comics will ever be good again. I often find that the Insomniac versions of the Spider-Man costumes that are in like films and stuff are often being beat out by a lot of the fans that are making the replicas. But in the case of the Insomniac Stark suit and the Agro Fro Stark suit, I don't think the difference is like night and day. I still think the Insomniac suit is a really good rendition of the Stark suit. Just like I think the Agro Fro suit is a way more realistic version of the actual Stark suit as seen in Spider-Man Homecoming. I just think that Agro Fro does a way better job replicating like the look of Spider-Man in the outfit. Like not even, not even just down to like the fabrics and shit like that, but Tom Holland in the suit as well. Like, there's a similar head shape going on in this mod, and then you look at like Spider-Man in Spider-Man Homecoming and shit, and the head build is like almost exactly the same, along with like the anatomy and the musculature of Tom Holland. It's really impressive. Not only that, these spider logos are way more accurate, and it looks like they hopped right out of John Watts's best written Spider-Man film. That's right. That is not John Watts's best written Spider-Man film. And we're gonna talk about that one eventually. Anyway, speaking of costumes I've made before, the Scott Johnson Spider-Man suit. This mod was made by Bogus Law Jestum, who once again made a better replica than I did. <sighs> I should just quit. Oh, oh. Real feelings of jealousy aside, this mod is a spectacular rendition of Scott Johnson's artwork. We both were actually acknowledged for our hard work in replicas of Scott Johnson's work on Twitter.com, baby, by the real Scott Johnson himself. That's some shit to put on the fridge. That's very cool.
Moving on, I want to cover some suit mods that I think should be actual costumes in Spider-Man 2. Tango Ted's has slowly become one of my favorite creators in the Spider-Man modding scene. And his sensational Spider-Man suit mod is one I use to console myself at night when I remember that they didn't add the sensational Spider-Man suit into Insomniac's Spider-Man 1. I remembered that, Insomniac. Something really interesting that I noticed that Tango does with his Spider-Man outfits is that whenever he has to put a large spider logo on a costume, he'll often add cuts and segments at the bends of the lenses to give it more of like a, a, a segmentation to the massive Spider-Man suit. It makes them look a little more grounded. I think it's a great way to add sectioning into your spider logo. While I don't think it's necessarily done its best on Tango's Sensational Spider-Man mod, I think the next one we're gonna cover is a really good example of how to do it, but wait, just wait. I know I've spoken negatively about orange and blue Spider-Man in the past, but I've sort of dropped my vendetta against that Spider-Man color palette. There's just a way to do it, okay? You have to do it in that certain way where it's good. Also, I like these web shooters. This is a nice mod. Anyway, moving on to another Spider-Man suit that people don't have time to complain about because Ben Riley fans have bigger fish to fry. The logo sectioning here looks better than ever. I love the specific choices for the shades of red and blue. It's kind of like a more cool version of red and blue, but like the blue, I don't want to say it's kind of greenish, but it's a bit more of a light blue. And I like that slightly more like pinkish kind of true red. I really love the way the lenses are sort of sculpted onto his face. They're kind of a weird shape, so they had to be just the perfect size to look right. And I think they are the perfect size and they look right. I love the web wings. That's always a nice addition. This overall is just a really nice mod to end out the video with. And that's not to say I can never recommend any more Spider-Man mods to you guys in the future. There are so many more mods to find that I think are absolutely amazing. And you can do by going to look in the link in the description, which I will provide the homepage for the Nexus Mods Spider-Man modding page, all the mods I've shown in this video, and uh, I believe there's also a Discord server you can join to get like immediate updates on like Spider-Man modding and the ins and outs of the community and stuff. I don't know how to get you that invite. You can look around for it. I'm not sure where to go. I'm, I'm a YouTuber, so they just invited me to it. So uh, shout out to the Spider-Man SMPC modding Discord. Uh, I, I barely go in there. Not because you guys aren't cool or anything, it's just because, like, I, I'm super busy, you know, outside of the costume, doing normal human things. I don't spend a lot of time on Discord anymore. Uh, sorry to all my Discord friends. I suck at responding to messages. Um, we are almost at 100k, by the way. Literally, like, my childhood dream of being a YouTuber is about to reach whole new heights, and I'm, like, shitting my pants over it. It's insane. So if you have thought about subscribing and you're a little bit on the fence, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, that's about all for me, and I will see you guys next time.